Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to blur something within Final Cut Pro. This is my last video I created, my iOS 10.2.1 Beta 4 video, and it has a few things on it, but what if I wanted to blur maybe some of these icons or some text within the video? How would I do that? I want to show you that, but before, a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Audioblocks. Audioblocks provides royalty-free music, sound effects, and loops, and has one of the largest libraries on the internet with over 100,000 different selections to choose from. You can filter down those results using music, sound effects, or loops. We can choose mood or genre or instrument. So we'll choose relaxing. We can change the, the genre. Try electronic, that's usually what I go for. And then you can even select the instrument you want, tempo or duration. When you want to listen to one, just mouse over. See if that's right, and if it is, select that and download it. And it's yours to keep for life. For a free seven day trial, go to audioblocks.com slash YouTube or click the link in the description below to check it out yourself today. Now, in order to do a blur, it's pretty simple. There are multiple ways to do this, but the way I do it most often is select the part of the clip you want to blur. And you want to use the arrow keys on your screen to actually go frame by frame to figure out where it starts and where it ends. So what I normally do is I'll use B or the blade tool and click at the beginning of where I want the blur to start. And then maybe I'll go a little bit further here and click where it's at the end. And again, I use the arrow keys to specify exactly which frame I want the blur to start and end. Then I'll switch back to the arrow key. You can do that by pushing A, and all of your tools are right here if you're not familiar, but I just use the shortcuts. So do that by hitting A, click the tool or click the clip that you want using your arrow tool, and then copy this particular clip. Now you can do that using edit, but I use command C, and then I use arrow down to go to the end of the clip. You can click there as well, but arrow up will bring you to the beginning, arrow down will bring you to the end, and then I use command V, I paste the clip, and now you'll see it's duplicated. So what I normally do is I just click and highlight and drag it on top of the clip that I was wanting to blur. So now we've got two duplicates basically. Now just drop the audio or you can detach the audio and delete it just from that clip and get rid of that and now we're going to apply a blur. So we'll go over here, go to where our blurs are, and then we're going to scroll to Gaussian blur and drag and drop it onto the clip that we want to blur. Now obviously we're blurring everything right now and we don't wanna do that. So what we wanna do is go over here to our crop tool and then we just wanna grab the handles here and crop to the area we want the blur to apply. So maybe we want to blur out the Twitter icon. We can do that, hit done, and you'll see it's blurred out. Now you can adjust this to whatever you want. If we play this back, basically you'll see that it's blurred through the entire clip and then the blur will come off right away. Now, if you want to blur this and move segment by segment or frame by frame, what you'll need to do is actually move it as you're going frame by frame. So you can do that and either move it manually yourself, or there are other ways to blur as well, as well as other plugins you can use to help you do this. This is how I most often blur. So let me do this one more time to show you. We'll just go to the end here where I show the version number of this particular one. And let's blur my storage right here. So again, let's start at the beginning of the clip. And we'll go to where I set it down right here. We'll copy, go to the end, paste, move this where we want, drop the audio so we don't have the sound there, move our Gaussian blur on top, go to our crop tool. And now this one, after we move the handles, we have another issue. It's actually at an angle. And so we can have this awkward block there, or we can make it look a little bit nicer by moving to the trim tool or transform tool rather, and we can just rotate it and move it around. So now we've got it at an angle. So when we play this now, it looks like it fits in the phone it is 14D27. until I move it. So if we wanted to do something when I move it, what I can do is when it starts to move right there, I'll find my frame when it starts to move. There we go. We'll use that one. I'll hit the blade tool again. I'll let it play a little bit. 
And what I normally do is I expand this blurred clip. So I'll click on this and go back to the crop tool. And the easiest way to do that is just make it bigger. And now as I move the phone, 27, it kind of moves with it. And you can do this over and over. You can do multiple layers. I could do this again and put one on top of it and do a separate blur as well. So if I wanted to take this, go to the end here, paste another one, it went up here. Let me bring it down. And then maybe do a separate blur somewhere else. I can do that as well. You'll see I have another one underneath it. Once I move these handles, I've got two blurs going on, one here and one here. And each one of these is layered. So it's pretty simple to do a blur within the, the application. That's a really fast way to do it. There are some plugins that will actually motion track and you can do this within motion as well to motion track. You can also go frame by frame up here. I just don't do that using keyframes. So that's pretty much it as far as adding blurs. It's really simple to do within the timeline and something I use often, especially when you wanna blur out something important. So let me know if you have any other tips or tricks regarding this. If you'd like to see more Final Cut Pro videos, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.